Hi all, this is Chris Terrell with Everyday VBA and in this video we're going to be solving the Macro Monday Cell Color Copier Challenge. And in this challenge I showed you how to select a cell and then create an input box that references and then point to another cell and then copy that color over to the Excel that you were originally on. It's a pretty fun little challenge, not super difficult, uh, only with one kind of minor change and that is using a different input box that you may not have normally used and that's the application.input box but let's go ahead and dig right in. So first thing we need to do open up our Visual Basic Editor, that's Alt F11. You can also get there through your developer ribbon. We're going to uh, set up a new macro, or a new module, so we can write a macro. We're going to go sub color copier. Now it's really original, but that's what we're going to call it. We are taking the color from one cell to another cell, or one range to another range. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to declare two ranges. So we're going to go dim, and it's going to, we're going to call it 2RNG. I use RNG as my range. It's just a, it's what kind of a habit that I've gotten into. And we're going to do from RNG as range. Now what we're going to do is we're going to set the range that you are you are currently on, and that is going to be our two range. So that is going to be 2 RNG equals to selection and all the selection is is whatever selected so I'm also going to do cells uh, we're going to do the two selections okay we're good there so that sets that range now what we need to do is we need to figure out the from range and this is where we're going to be using the input box so we're going to go set from RNG equal to application dot input box and we are going to go select range select cell to color, color color from okay we're gonna do that now the other thing what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna hit space and I'm gonna hit a uh, underscore and that's going to just take me to the next row it's kind of a um, it's a good trick if you have really long uh, long lines of code that'll actually take you to the next line of course now that I'm off that um, and it just keeps it all in one line and when Excel sees that underscore it says oh this is this actually goes to the line below now you have to be careful with text and commas and different things like that but um, You do use that quite a bit actually. Now you'll notice that as I hit comma, it's taking to the next section. So I'm at default left, top, help file, uh, help context. I use hardly any of those. I may use a default every once in a while if I want to put in the default value. So in this case, you could type in A1. That would set the A1 range if you really wanted to do that. Um, I typically don't use that all. Left and top, that just tells where's that going to show up on the screen. Help context ID and help file have never used that. But let me show you real quick um, the, the difference on um, these input method. So this is the application.input box. If you use just input box, it's going to use a standard input box that's used in Visual Basic. If you tie application.input box, it's going to have a slight difference. And the difference is, is you have a different type. And that type is specific to the application. In this case, the application is Excel. Now, these are the different types. So you could actually put in a formula, a number, a text string, a logical value, a cell reference, um, an error. You could also use an array of values. In this case, we are simply going to use 8. Now you notice that turned red because I didn't like it because I didn't have an in parentheses. Um, also notice that if I pull this over, this is an optional, uh, which means you don't have to put it in if you don't want it. So all of these are optional. The ones that are required are the prompt, and that is it. Okay, now we've got 
we've got our two range, which is what you have selected prior to hitting the button. And then you have your from range, which is what you're going to select from the input box, and you're going to basically point Excel to that. So now all we need to do is we need to go to range dot interior color interior dot color is equal to from range. I'm actually going to go to cells. 1, 1, so it only pulls the color from the top upper left cell. We're going to go interior, and we're going to go dot color, and we're going to press down. Um, I'm going to press down, and what I'm looking for is I'm looking for this interior, and I'm looking for this color to turn into capitals. It does that. I know that my code is, is most likely pretty good. So we have this written. We're going to walk through this one uh, line by line. And to do that, I'm going to just put a break in here. And that's just to click in here. The, you can also use F9. Step into toggle breakpoint. Anyway, so I just clicked right there. It's going to stop that code. Now we'll go back to our, our workbook. I'm going to make this look good. Shrink this down, stretch this out. We, should, we are super close. All we need to do is assign a macro to this to my logo right there. You'll notice that now when I hover over it, it gives me the pointer. I'm going to click on that. It stops at my breakpoint. You'll notice that I have my locals window open, so it shows me what those ranges are. That range sets that range. Now it's going to pull up this input box. And I'm going to select this guy right here. You'll notice that it puts in the reference of that. I'm going to click OK. And I am getting an error. That's exciting. Now the question is, why am I getting an error? So the first thing we're going to do, we're going to go back to our Go back in here. Cell reference as a range. That is what I want. What we're going to do is we're going to. I'm just going to get rid of this right here. That really shouldn't cause a problem, um, but it's possible that it has caused one. So we're going to do that again. Come back here, hit the button, F8, F8, pulls it up, click on that, click OK. It's wanting an object. I'm going to check my spelling. I'm going to check my spelling there. Okay, so I was able to figure that out. Uh, what it ended up happening is I did not have enough commas here. And I'm going to just show you really quick. I, I had not enough commas, so what was happening, I'm going to delete one of these, hit comma. And I, after this, I need to give the help file. And what it was asking for is I was, I was trying to help pass the help context ID and not the type. So you'll notice right here, I'm trying to pass in the help context ID of 8. It was saying, hey, I don't know what that object is. I don't know what 8 is. Uh, the way to get around this is to just go type colon equals. And that's going to pass in the right thing. So I'm going to just show you real quick. We're going to actually change a color here. We're going to change this to this color, which is awesome. We're going to make a selection like that. Click on that bad boy. Click on that, click OK, and it's going to change that entire color. We're going to go inside of that, click on this because it's fun, and we're going to highlight it just like that. 
So there, there you have your Macro Monday solution, the cell color copier. Kind of a fun challenge. Hope you enjoyed. Find more information at Everyday VBA. Talk to you soon.